The Flint Olympics began earlier this week. Athletes from around the area have been braving the heat in search of Olympic glory. And today, boys and girls basketball wrapped up at Flint Southwest Academy. It was hot at the academy today, but it didn't seem to bother Northwestern or Kersley as they battled for first place today. First half, the Wildcats doing some damage on the low block as Antoine Cox gets open and scores easily to extend lead to eight. Later in the game, it's Kersley fighting back. Dietrich Young working the baseline to perfection as he converts the finger roll. And then two possessions later, Kersley with some crisp passing again. Young hits the little gimme this time. The lead was whittled down to five. Later, the Wildcats getting it done on the boards. Anthony Campbell grabs the loose ball, goes up, scores, draws the foul. Northwestern wins it 41-34. They are your gold medal winners and summer league champions. In the girls' finals, Arthur Hill took on Flushing in game two. Early on, it was all Raiders. Claire Gloniak is the recipient of a terrific pass here. She converts down low as Flushing takes a two-point lead. On the next possession, the Raiders get out and run. Brianna Perry beats everyone down the floor for the lay-in, and Flushing is up by four. Flushing keeps their foot on the gas as Pemberton gets out on the break, draws some contact. And it hits in the lane to, uh, to extend the lead once again. Keep in mind, Flushing, a team that went 24-1 and last year. Minutes later, Flushing does, goes back to Perry. This time it's in the paint. She creates some space and hits. The Raiders win it 39-33, and they are your girls' gold medal, gold medal winners and summer league champions.